Today, I'm going to cover how you upload your scorecard to Google Sheet. That's what we're going to uh, cover today. So you probably found this uh, page here from your phone, how to upload a score sheet. Uh, first thing I want to tell you is that you're going to want to do this from a computer because um, you can't access a script editor on your mobile phone. Um, so I'm going to cover uh, steps one through six and you'll see how we can easily set up the your scorecard to upload into Google Sheet. So, and I'll talk along the way why you'd want to do this. So, um, I have a simulator here running my app right here. Uh, so you can see easy score here. Uh, so again, first thing we're going to do, you probably came here and you went to upload, I'm assuming, and you probably clicked here and found those instructions. Um, so we're going to come back to this back and forth. So on a computer, uh, first thing you do is you create a Google Sheet. Uh, so you're going to need a Google account. You have to create a Google account. I'm not going to cover that today. Uh, so with the Google account, you have like Google Drives, Google Sheet, you have Gmail. And uh, step six, I'm going to actually end, email uh, the score sheet. So you'll actually need a Gmail account uh, to mail that score sheet. Okay, so if you get into Google Drive, you'll see something like this, and or if you're in Google Sheets, uh, but essentially what, what you want to do is create a new document, and in this case, a new Google Sheet. And uh, so we'll just give it a name. Sorry for the clicking. It, it sounds loud, I know. Um, I don't know how to get rid of that click on here. It's the mouse. It's probably driving you crazy, sorry. It's gonna drive me crazy. Um, <clears throat> so you'll see this is a default sheet. You'll see it creates a tab called sheet one and, and that's fine, you don't need to do anything here. Uh, I just wanna point that out. Um, so now we'll go to tools and we'll do a script editor. Okay, so we'll go back to instructions. So we did step one, we did step two, now we're on step three. So for step three, I created um, some code for you. Um, so this is called Google Script. This is what's going to allow your Google Sheet to act as a, a web end, or a REST endpoint uh, to process your scores from the mobile app. So you don't need to be a programmer, uh, but if you are, you can always make changes. This is your code. I'm just giving you a copy of it, and if you break it, uh, don't call me. You can, but um, just don't break it. Don't call me, but email me. So you're going to copy that in your clipboard. And uh, again, I don't know if I'll mail it. Again, you're going to have to get on your mobile app. So I'm sorry, you're not going to need this for your mobile app. This will all be all done on a computer. OK, so let's give the script a name. Um, so we'll just spell easy score upload script demo. Okay, you call anything. We're never gonna need it again. Okay, so you'll just uh, take this, what, what they gave you, just a blank function here, and just copy that in. Um, so this is what's gonna process uh, the post. The post is what we're gonna, that's how the mobile app's gonna call this Google Sheet, um, and this is how we process that that post command from, from your EasyScore mobile app. Uh, so once you paste it in, you'll save it. Make sure you don't have any errors. You'd see red error up here if you if you missed something. But for the most part, if you if you did it right, it should just save without any errors. Uh, and now we're going to publish. We're going to deploy to the web app. These are important instructions. Okay. <clears throat> so anytime you make any changes, you're going to want to do a new version. I'll call it one. So if you make any changes, make sure you create a new version. Otherwise, those changes will not be reflected. Um, that's been my experience. Um, so you execute the app as you, so this will be your Google account, so you'll execute as you, so it's your authority, and you're going to basically make everybody, give everybody access. So again, this is not secure data, and if somebody found this URL and was able to post it, they have to post it in the right format, and even if they posted it, something you didn't want, you can delete it. Um, they can't post any images or anything like that, so you have no, as far as I know, you have no liability here or security risks. Um, so we'll deploy this and then it's going to say this script needs permissions and then you're going to associate with your account 
and app's not verified. Um, so again, Google script, I'm not sure why they're saying app, but um, that's fine. We'll just say advanced, and we'll just say unsafe mode. Again, there's not a lot of risk here. Worst case, somebody posts some scores up into that spreadsheet. I doubt they would. And even if they did, you delete them. And then it's going to ask you for permissions. And again, I'm not advocating there's no risk, but um, this is what I do. So if you want to do what I do, you can do that and assume the risk yourself. Um, so I'll just say allow. Okay, so what we're after is that current web URL. So, so it's pretty long. So if you do three clicks in a row and you can copy it into your clipboard. Um, and you'd probably send an email to your phone and from your phone you copy it and paste it. Uh, you're not gonna be able to type this into your keep into your mobile app, so make sure you do a copy paste. And if you don't know how to, ask your kids. They, I'm sure they know. At this point, we we'll just say okay. So now we'll go back to the app. Okay, we'll say enable. And so I'm gonna take that URL. I'm gonna paste it in. Okay. And then um, the method would be a post. Um, do you want to automatically upload scores when you save around? So this is when you save around, you get prompted to save it. You also get prompted to upload it. And then here it just says, do you want to upload my scores only or, or also my partner? And we'll just say um, both. We'll say no, which means your partner and you. So the way you can test this is to upload now and it'll upload your current score sheet. So let's go ahead and go back to the spreadsheet we just created. And if you remember, it's just sheet one here and there's nothing in it. So we'll upload. So you'll see it creates a tab here. So you see it published. So it creates a new tab. This is the default tab. Um, this is where your scores will go. Uh, so again, I'll have both the golfers. And it's really raw data. Um, so, so again, this is your data. So you can graph it, do analytics on it. So everything in the app, when you save a score, I digest it down and, and uh, to minimize the, the footprint on your phone. Uh, so this is really the only time you're going to get the raw data for a round. Um, otherwise, I'm going to calculate stats, you know, um, have running stats and, and so on. So uh, just keep that in mind. So there's, again, if you're good at spreadsheets, you can do whatever you want with this. You can upload it, save it as a PDF. And, and again, this is not a demonstration of how to use Google Sheets. But again, Google Sheets is a lot like Excel. Um, so whatever you can do in a normal spreadsheet, you can do with Google Sheets. Okay, so now I'm going to cover, so what, what, what have we covered? I think we've covered step four, we deployed the app, yeah, we did that, and we copy pasted the URL, we did that, all good, I'm going to paste that in there and upload now, I tested it, um, and then let's do the email now. So the email is pretty easy, um, so let's go back to the app, so all you do here is you put a question mark, and then email equals than whatever email you want to send it to. So again, this is a one-time setup. So I know it looks kind of ugly and cryptic, but it's a free app. And uh, I'm giving you access to your data that you've entered here. All right, so we, we that's the email I'm going to send the scorecard to. And I'll show you how that works here in a second. And just keep in mind, I, I did check automatically upload scorecard when you save the round. That was easy, yes. Okay, so let's go ahead and complete this round. Okay, because you enabled that, it's going to see that you also want to upload. So it's, it's going to say save upload your round. Otherwise, if you didn't have the upload, it's going to say save your round. And um, so say yes here. At this point, it's saving the round. And it'll say scores and statistics saved, uh, score sheet uploaded. Uh, so let's go back to our spreadsheet. And you'll see, yep. Those two were uploaded. A nice thing about this, you can just delete this out. So if you posted, you test, those are test scores, I can just go ahead and delete them out. Um, you can delete that tab if you want to delete everything, and it'll just reinitialize that for you. So again, this is pretty simple. Um, as far as the email, you'll see I have one email that popped into my inbox. And there's my score sheet. Um, so. This is a score sheet that was emailed, and um, so these are our scores for the round. And 
So again, the, the email is going to come from you. Uh, when you set up your Google account, you have a Gmail as well. So the email says easy score, but it's actually going to be from your Gmail account. Now you can mail it anywhere. You can mail it to your league admin, you to your work email, um, but the source will come from your Gmail account. And, and that was some of the reasons for those um, security issues with the with the warnings is that it's going to email from, from your email address. So uh, I hope you like it. If you have any questions, uh, please let me know. If you like it, let me know. Um, if you have any other ideas, let me know. I, I like feedback ideas, and I, I hope this works for you. Good luck.